So uh, the difference between a long press and a short press is usually a short press will uh, open or activate something, whereas a long press is really to uh, move something around on the screen. Um, and it's not always the case, but let me show you an example. So on the screen here, you can see that I have the devices actively seeking out Wi-Fi networks in the area. Um, if I want to turn that off because I'm going to be driving down the highway and don't want to be seeking Wi-Fi networks while I'm driving, all I do is a short press and just tap. So a short press is equate, equated as a tap um, and it turns it off. So I can very easily tap it or do a short press and it turns it back on. A long press, uh, the easiest way to demonstrate this is if you're moving things around on one of the, one of the screens of the device. So for example, if I don't like this clock, um, and I want a different clock, I simply long press, so I stick my finger, and you can see, if I, by holding my finger down, it makes it so that I can move it, and I can just drag it down, and it takes it off the screen. I haven't deleted it from my programs, I've just taken it off that screen. So if I want to move my messages up, I just long press and move that up on the screen. So that's kind of the difference between a long press and a short press. Long press, press and hold, and I can move it, Short press actually opens the application.